All right, guys, these are the head weights. There's two different uh, weights that we use here at the clinic. So you'll want to grab these and find there's some, some that are lighter and some that are heavier. When you're just starting out, always start with the lighter ones. What you're going to do, Michelle is going to put these head weights right around the forehead. There you go. Just above the eyebrows. Cinch it down nice and tight. Perfect. No pain? Does it feel heavy? Okay, perfect. If at any time you have pain or it feels heavy, go ahead and take those head weights off. You're done for right then. Um, but assuming that's not the case, uh, she's going to stand with a nice, good head posture. Notice the weights are just above the eyebrows, and she's looking straight ahead. Now, the rule is whenever you've got weights on the head, I don't want you doing any big motions with the neck. If you need to turn, just turn with the whole body. You want to keep your head pretty neutral. What she's going to do is a marching exercise. So she's going to bring one arm up so that the elbow is at the height of the shoulder. And then the opposite leg, so the knee comes up to the waist. Perfect. And then switch. Now, this does not have to be fast. And perfect. And you can go back and forth. The key is to do it correctly. So this isn't a cardiovascular exercise. We're not trying to get the heart rate up. We're not trying to burn fat or anything. This motion is neurologically training the brain and helping solidify the corrective work that you're doing. So it really holds everything in place after you get your treatment. Uh, the big mistake that people will make on this one is they might do the same side instead of opposite, like so. So this would be counterproductive. We don't want to be doing that. We need to make sure they are opposite arm and leg. The other mistake is people will get kind of lazy, and what they'll do is they'll, exactly, just like that, kind of just be uh, a, kind of a minor walk there. The key is we really need to get the knees and the elbows moving, so that's why we say up to the height of the elbow or the shoulder and also the waist. Now, uh, you're going to do this for time, so start with about two minutes work your way up to four minutes, then switch to the heavier weights. Same thing, start with about two minutes, work your way up to four minutes, and then that's kind of where you'll max out. Uh, those are the head weights.